mostly right. Listen, these two candidates are in very different <laughs> positions. Um, Hillary Clinton had to do something very difficult, which was to put down an insurgency in her own party, the Sanders Rebellion, but do it on terms that let the, that those people come to her. She has largely succeeded in that. The millennials are still a little bit grumpy, but they're moving her direction. Trump had a tougher challenge, which was to actually win an insurgency, grab the party assets, and then use them to take power. He has failed in the fundamental leadership challenge of this campaign, which is to capture the party. So now he's in a situation where he's trying to make it a virtue, his failure a virtue. And he has to do something else. The idea that he, and by his tweets, he thinks he can just say, Bill Clinton sucks too, therefore I get to be the president, <laughs> is absurd. First of all, what he has actually confessed to, not been accused of, but confessed to, is a crime. If I were to go to Donald Trump and grope him and try to kiss him, I would go to jail. That's called sexual assault. It is a crime. So you have someone who has confessed to a crime who now wants to be able to say that I'm the law and order candidate, which is now bizarre. He came to prominence by attacking five African-American young men who were falsely accused of being sexual predators. He came to prominence by attacking immigrant uh, uh, Mexicans and saying they are rapists. It turns out it was all projection. He's a sexual That's predator. He's a super predator. And he cannot attack Bill Clinton to get out of it, period. What, what does he do if she uses those words? If she calls him a predator tonight, what's he supposed to say? Because the, the other context here, yeah. of course, is that Donald Trump